All right, guys, welcome back. We are in game number three. Currently, Sidestorm Gaming is up 2-0 against Risen, my lovely, beautiful co-caster tonight. He is very handsome. It's the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. <laughs> That's not really where my name came from, but uh, <laughs> I was thank but I'm always thankful to hear, to hear that introduction. My question to you, Shaft, is, uh -huh. is Orin stoppable? Yes, Anyhow. yes, I think he is. I think ZVZ is um, also probably his best matchup. ZVP, definitely a close second. ZVT is where he gets uh, eliminated Struggle. typically. Um, but it looks like this next game will be a ZVZ. Uh, looks like that's who uh, Risen's going to be sending up. We'll uh, get that game hosted up. It's going to be on Interloper, man. So ZVZ, Interloper. Again, not a Terran matchup. Excuse me, not a Terran matchup here for you. But uh, how's your ZVZ knowledge? <laughs> uh, it's usually uh, mm -hmm. quite a quite a few links into bane links. Maybe someone will get roaches, or an, and in the end, somebody mm -hmm. does a hard mute attack switch and kills mm -hmm. the other. Yeah, well, <laughs> in my um, in my uh, co-caster, my typical co-casters, uh, it's Sluggy's his name. He's the guy who co-casted with me the most during Hope Team Link. He actually liked to yeah. say that in ZVZ is the one matchup where cheese isn't even cheesy you can macro out of it um like there, there is no cheese build it, it's all a macro build in zvz just because of the nature of the matchup and honestly i tend to agree with him warren is a player who definitely agrees with him he's one of the cheesiest players out there um we'll see if warren chooses to cheese or if his opponent does or you know if both these guys go standard try to get into the roach game because like I, you I, said it's usually lings into bane lings into roaches sometimes players will skip the bane lings to try to get an advantage sometimes they get completely punished for it it really all depends it's a great matchup in my opinion yeah you're absolutely right and uh, well since we will be in the game in a few seconds, mm -hmm. uh, you can already see that we have some cheese by Osi. He's already with some links on the line, and the pool on the different side of the map uh, isn't even finished just Whoa. yet by Warren. And yeah. we already have like eight links rushing through the other side of the map. So, um, how do you hold that? Well, I mean, you, you hold that by pulling some drones, and it should actually like be fairly simple. Uh, no, about two-thirds of them, you can pull them down, and it depends on how your opponent commits to it. But let's officially introduce these players, because here, getting rushed on the top left-hand side of the map, he is the Pink Zerg, Cyclone Warren. And on the bottom right, or let's say, at the natural of the top left player, yeah. it's it's O.C. Yeah, I think it's, he, he pronounced it's Wessie? Um, Wessie? That, that, that's what I heard, I don't know how true that is, but... Okay, we will try to stick to Wessie. Yeah, yeah uh, it's an but, interesting but game. But I guess that <gasps> natural... He was just not cancelled! Oh my god, that's a huge mistake. That was... N oh! That's there a huge pickup. There goes your money, dude. There goes your money. Yeah, at least the two-thirds of it you could have got back. Yeah, but still, it's 300 minute notes, I mean... Yeah, so you get <laughs> so you lose 225 of, by not cancelling. Because you would have lost 75 either way. Yeah, sure. Cancel but and get you two thirds. Yeah, yeah, but either way, it, it's, you know, eight links. He needed those eight links. Yeah, but now he's trying to counter, counter push. Warren is at least uh -huh. trying it. Uh, he is getting some bane links. Yeah. That, that might work out, but you already see a Wesley with a full wall off. Uh, and with a spine crawler. He mm -hmm. just. Um, I guess he just planned all this through yeah. and was uh, preparing himself. Yeah. And the links will have yeah, no way they get through there. No. With the main links, maybe they can uh, chop down one of the little evolution chambers, but what will be left to actually fight? Not that much. And of course, with the. Oh, canceling that evolution chamber to restart it at full health. And he's got the Roach Warren about to be completing. So Bane Ling's not actually the optimal unit here. He really wants more Lings. So that's going to take a lot more Larva. And of course, those minerals that he didn't get back by canceling it. That is setting him back so far. And to do this counter rush, he needs those minerals. He really should have thought about maybe going for a more economic play. Because, uh, yeah, he still would have been behind. But you just can't rush after taking that much of a loss. Uh, the cool uh, thing Warren is doing right now is he's he just did that counter pressure, I guess, to force this full wall off, which yeah. uh, 
makes uh, Wesley a little bit of unconcern of what's coming towards him. Will there mm -hmm. be more banelings? Uh, and it Warren gives, is just expanding. Yeah, it gives I him mean, absolute map control, 110%. I think, though, it, it does present a vulnerability, though, because he doesn't have the economy right now to support full three base production. And if Wessie hits before he does have that economy, which by knocking down this evolution chamber, I'm kind of thinking he might try, even without like metabolic boost, he's not even starting that. He's definitely going for a Roach Ling attack and that could hurt Warren pretty bad here. Yeah, for sure. He, so he killed his own evolution chamber now and is able to get out again. Yeah, that's and a huge tell. And as, and as, as long, um, as soon as he knows that his enemy is basically pants down with no army, he will he will uh, start his attack. Maybe yeah. uh, getting getting two or three ravagers just to throw in some growth of bias to take down potential mm -hmm. uh, static defense. But then it's game. If he kills the third, it's over anyways. You have to think though. Warren can't even afford static defense. Look at his. Uh, worker count here, man. He has 20 workers behind his opponent. If he makes look, that look defense, at the natural, this is this looks like just is he just uh, taking this base for extra lava so he doesn't have to uh, yeah. build more queens and yeah. so he can just uh, he's all in. He's full on in here. He's going full in a mate. Yeah, he, his opponent is not even going to have to attack. He's just got to defend this third base. This is wild, man. Uh, Warren's a very aggressive player. This might work out for him. He's got a lot of Banelings morphing, but it might not work, and he's got as, nothing behind him. As soon as uh, Wesley uh, has his road speed and plus one, this is uh, completely over. The Banelings are trying to do something, and they hit quite a lot of uh, roaches, and the Spinecrawler is gone. Yeah, so Banelings kill off the Spinecrawler. Work. It might work, but this is a really nasty choke point. And Warren getting pulled right on in. These reinforcement roaches are going to be enough to repel this attack, man. He has got to be careful not to get surrounded by this. He is pulling back, trying to target the roach Warren, but it's a little bit late. The drones come off the line. Dude, this is not looking good. Uh, the pressure is uh, uh, real, but the uh, third is still standing, and maybe uh -huh. he can secure that. This is his only, uh, his only goal at the moment. Uh, yeah, to stay remember. alive and save that third. Yeah, Warren is completely all in. But the upgrade just finished. He has roach speed and plus one. Mm -hmm. uh, and you, you kill the roaches with that. That's no problem. Yeah, this has just been a ticking time bomb against Warren. And Warren's not managed to kill the third. He is trading, but all trades favor Wessie. Wessie has the upgrades, he's got the economy, he's got the production. He That's got the defender advantage uh, of getting more yeah. roaches. Uh, well, that's 2-1, so Warren's out of the game and the, this DBZ uh -huh. actually didn't go in the favor of Spice on Gaming. No, so it's uh, that's uh, two, still a 2-1 lead for Psystorm, but right now, momentum favoring uh, Team Risen. If you want to be notified when we release videos like this, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you don't know where that is, I'm not going to teach you how to use the internet. There's probably no hope for you.